Guys, I want to introduce everyone to uh, Derek Leslie here. Derek Leslie here. Sorry, we got the microphone, so it's uh, the sound's recorded on the website. Um, but Derek Leslie is an incredible answered prayer of mine personally. I started praying specifically that God would lead someone uh, into my life that uh, I could start studying with that was a different race than me. Amen. And uh, God brought uh, Derek. Uh, Derek had messaged the website, and then I invited him out to our uh, Bible study. And I wanted to read a passage just to encourage you, man, that reminds me of you. In Mark chapter 5 uh, is the story of the demon-possessed man. And um, now hang in there. It has a good ending. But honestly, Derek's just been so open and, and honest about his life. And, and this is a guy, if you get to know, that truly God has delivered from some really awesome things. I mean, things that would make you go, wow, this is an incredible testimony. I'm excited one day he'll get to share his testimony with the church. Uh, but it's just incredible. I'm very proud of you, man, for taking a stand for God. And the Bible says after the demons, uh, the 6,000 demons, Legion was driven out of the man. It says in verse Mark 5, verse 18, As Jesus was getting into the boat, the man who had de been demon-possessed begged to go with him. Jesus did not let him, but said, Go home to your own people and tell them how much the Lord has done for you, how he has had mercy on you. So the man went away and be began to tell him the Decapolis, that's the ten cities, how much Jesus had done for him, and all the people were amazed. And Derek, I really believe, is going to be a preacher. Um, he's an incredible man. And uh, already he's made so many radical changes. And if you would have been, at, uh, I had him come to Lion's Den uh, just to, to encourage him. But he came and he got up there and street preached. He wasn't even baptized as a disciple yet. And uh, it was powerful. And so I just want to lift you up, let you know how proud I am of you. I love you, man. I'm here for you. Anything you ever need, dude. And I'm excited about your special day today. Man. I love you too. Uh, Derek, I just want to, there's many uh, people in the Bible that I could use to describe you, Apollos or the rich young ruler, but um, there's a scripture in uh, John where it says Jesus saw Nathaniel coming, or Derek, and it said, and here's a true Israelite whom there's no thing, nothing false in. And that is completely you as we've studied through the Bible uh, with you. Just your heart has just been uh, laid bare. And there is nothing false in you. And you just, you confess everything. And you're just, I just want to get right with God. And uh, you've just, every single step of the way, you've just fought and you just submit to what the Word of God says. And uh, that's why, I, just like Mike said, you are going to be a powerful man in God's kingdom. And you are going to lead many more people to Christ. Thanks, man. <laughs> Derek, Mike, 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 but he was also an answer prayer for the South because uh, Darnell and I and, and our group have been praying for diversity in, uh, <laughs> on, in the South. I mean, and it's like we didn't do anything but pray. And um, the other day we went out sharing and uh, we were sharing for two hours and this guy was, we shared and he's like, bro, that was awesome, but we need more. I looked at him like, well, it's, 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 it's 930. I want to go to bed. <laughs> but he's fired up and he, and he pushes me to, uh, to want to do more and to want to be, to want to be better. And um, I know that the scripture doesn't really remind me of you, but the scripture reminds me of the situation. And it's in um, John, third, th John 4, 38. And it says, there we go. I sent you to reap what you have not worked for. Others have done the hard work and you have reaped the benefits of their labor. And, uh, and this is just a benefit. It's, it's, it's great. I'm grateful to, that Jackie's doing such a great job with the uh, website. And, and it, it got you out here. And um, just, we're going to work hard together. And, and I'm, I'm ready to see what you're going to do for God. Amen, bro. Amen. Go ahead, Derek. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, the Lord has really taken me through a lot of stuff in my life, and I was even, I was even at one point diagnosed with a mental illness, like a severe one, like a schizophrenia by multiple doctors. Um, cause I, but it was mainly because I was in sin. I was in lust. I was in false spiritual doctrine. 
Um, I was doing drugs and the things that I did, people could not really understand some of the stuff I said, the way I interpreted some of the scriptures because I was mixing it with false doctrine. And uh, people were confused even, you know, I actually have a son and I can't see him right now because of the things I've done. So, you know, I've been forgiven for many sins and I just feel like that I ha it's my duty to give an incredible love to the kingdom of God because you know here it's like I, I know this is a family this is true you know purity and I'm just I'm thankful to God that I'm that I'm even here in this in this um, and have this opportunity to experience this eternal life so thank you and glory to God well Derek we got a couple questions for you man yeah. two of the most important questions of your life do you believe that Jesus died for your sins was buried and raised on the third day I do and what is your good confession? Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Because of your good confession, because of your good confession, uh, the brothers and I will be able to baptize you here in the river. Um, all your sins are going to be forgiven. You're going to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. You'll be added to the eternal book of life. Amen. 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 We'll walk over there. All right, but wait, there's more. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Bye, Derek! See ya! <laughs> See you in heaven! Yes.